before you go, I also wanted to talk about, as I said, what can get in the way of sabotaging your success. This is a biggie. You know, when you are creating a new direction to walk, to, to head off in, the new path it is that you want to create. You're fed up of the one that you've created. You're not feeling fulfilled. You're not making the impact it is that you want to make. And you're just like, eh, okay, I need to do something different. I need to up-level the business, up-level my life, stop whatever it is that is playing out. So we make a conscious decision to do that, to do things differently, to play a bigger game, to, you know, create a new way of doing things, create a new reality for ourselves. So the book, Be More Wolf, I am writing at the moment, and I realized that I was actually sabotaging my own success and myself when <laughs> I'm the one that's talking about stop sabotaging yourself. <laughs> I suddenly got hit in the face by a wet dish because I was like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. This is how sneaky self-sabotaging yourself can be. Really, really sneaky. It's sneaky. It's so sneaky. You don't even know it's happening until you reflect back and you go, whoa, hang on a minute. That's not what I want. <laughs> and then you're like, uh, <laughs> falling off the wagon. But this is how sneaky our inner worlds can be how sophisticated it is at keeping you stuck how sophisticated it is at trying to the ego trying to keep you safe okay so <laughs> sneaky subconscious sneaky, sneaky self-sabotaging behavior let me share with you what happened for me Something slipped under the radar for me. So last week I did a new video. Of course, video number three. I'm doing these videos every week to share about what's actually going into the book, like I did a second ago around the four cornerstones to the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox that people are using to get out of their own way. So I'm doing these videos to support that journey. And then... So I created a video last week and, you know, we did the editing, we uploaded it, we did all the behind the scenes stuff that needed to be done. And then when I went uh, at the end of the week to reflect on what it is I have been up to over the week, and I do that purposely to get out of my own way. It's part of an exercise within the toolbox that we do every week to help us figure out what is going on, what's stopping our success, what's stopping us from growing. So I was doing that exercise at the end of the week and I was just like, hang on a minute. Why was I, why on earth did I create that video? Because it has no context and no relevance for the book. It has absolutely nada, nothing to do with the women it is that I want to help who are going to buy the book and embrace the book and put it into practice. <laughs> so, <laughs> have you ever had that happen to you? Does that feel really familiar when, oh, I hope that's not our apartment, there's a crashing noise. Have you ever decided that you want to do something, that you want to stop doing something and you want to do something else because that's going to take you in the direction it is that you want to be heading in? But then you sort of slip back into what it is that you don't actually want. I think we just have a habit as humans in hiding in the comfort of what is familiar. So let me explain what it is that I did, what it is that I noticed, which has nothing to do with the direction it is that I want to, that I want to head in. So it slipped under the radar. Honestly, I had no idea what I was doing, how I was doing it. It wasn't until I looked back at my um, conscious coaching reflective practice that I do at the end of the week. And I was like, oh, crap. How did that slip past me? 
here's the truth. It is so easy to slip into what is comfortable, what is familiar, where we um, where we feel safe, um, what is easy. We all do it without even noticing. So we slip back into this place that is extremely uncomfortable without even noticing that we are doing it. It's done on such an unconscious level. Over the last couple of weeks, I have shared with you that one of my barriers to success has been about being come, becoming more visible because becoming more visible to me means trauma, means survival. I associate it with some really negative, heavy stuff that has played out previously in my life. So I have I had discovered that I had a fear of success because if I was being successful, I would be seen. If I was being seen, that would lead to trauma, which I absolutely would avoid. Now that I understand that, I can work with it. I can um, navigate around it as I understand it. However, <laughs> it's so sophisticated that what's happened is, is I've gone back, I've recoiled back into a place of safety, a place of feeling comfortable, it's safe, it's easy, it doesn't feel like a threat, even though it's not what I want to do. So because I used to hide behind people, I had a fear of really being seen. So I would do things like lots of interviews of, of experts, hold big, big, big summits which actually is a team's job I would do lots of things that would keep me in the background and not being really visible telling my story I was empowering everybody else to share their story apart from myself <laughs> sound familiar <laughs> so, so I would stay safe so sabotage, sabotaging your success is a master in disguise. Oh, yes. Let's talk about this, especially when you're working hard to change your behavior. So last week I did a video and the video, as I said, is designed to share my experience of writing the book with you. So the content should be focused in on the tools um, the experiences, the insight I'm getting along that journey. How am I bringing it together? What is going into it? But then I look back at these videos that I had created last week, and they were absolutely nothing to do with the book. One was about how to structure your book to get the best results. Another one was about how, why you need a lead magnet for your business. Now, even though I know a lot about these things, well, actually not so much about the first one, but I know a lot about creating lead magnets. I can do it with my eyes closed. I've helped so many entrepreneurs to create them. However, that is not what I want to be known for. That is not the content it is that I need to be sharing with my clients with the people it is that I want to make the biggest impact on but yeah that is what I created and it just showed me that's how sneaky the ego will be when it wants to keep you safe it can completely take you off track and all that's happening there is that you're going back into a place of comfort you're going back into a place that is familiar even though it may not be where it is that you feel that you are going to get the most growth so this is obviously what I would call a trip wire it is completely normal the trick is to recognize it don't beat yourself up be compassionate and then get back on the horse and head in the direction it is that you want to be heading in on my laptop now, I have a note that says very clearly what it is that I want to be known for. So all of my content is going to be shaped around those four topics rather than doing random things that just really serve no purpose, but <laughs> are me sophisticatedly hiding 
and not achieving the success I desire. Of course, the things that I want to be known for are conscious coaching. So that is a process that I take my clients through to help them understand and see things that they haven't necessarily seen before. Self-coaching is the next thing on the agenda, and that is really about how do you then navigate? Once you're awake or you're seeing things that you haven't seen before, how do you then navigate those challenging situations? Next is about building your resilience muscle. So you've identified, you've seen what's playing out, and then your self-coaching to navigate. Once you've started to navigate challenging situations or how you want to change things then it's time to start building your resilience muscle and taking inspired action so those are the things that i want to be known for i don't want to be known for how to create a lead magnet how to get the most out of your business book that is me sophisticatedly hiding behind content that is going to get me absolutely nowhere It's not going to leave me fulfilled. It's not going to leave me making even a bigger impact on the world. It is just me going back to a place that feels comfortable, that my brain feels comfortable in. It's familiar, but that's not where I want to be. So I just wanted to share that with you because that is something I'm definitely going to put in the book. It's how sneaky and how sophisticated self-sabotage can be without you even realizing it and that fulfillment and impact are part of being awake being conscious being fully aware of what's driving you what's motivating you to be able to get out of your own way and play a much bigger game so let me know has that happened to you have you thought right I want to do this but then you find yourself just constantly stuck in this loop of doing the same thing day in and day out getting the same results not going anywhere fast (laughs) you're just stuck and that you recognize that that was because you were just trying to keep yourself set safe it was familiar Let me know in the comments box. Oops, sorry. And remember, if you've enjoyed this content, if you've enjoyed our time today, if you've got any questions, right, got any questions, pop them below. That'd be awesome. If you've really enjoyed this content, thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, thumbs down. Tell me why that is. What is it that you want me to focus in on? What will help you? And remember, love the content. Remember to subscribe that would really help me out to grow the channel and to reach more awesome women like yourself okay until next week also the next (laughs) videos are going to be focused in on what it is that i want to be known for what it is in terms of the direction i want to take my business and my life in rather than sabotaging my success and getting in my own way which is what I did beautifully last week wasted a lot of time money energy just complete groundhog day so whatever you're doing today gorgeous I really appreciate that you have joined me and I will see you next